Hi everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Beyond the Basics of Sponsored Products. My name is Kristen, and I'm a marketing specialist on the Amazon team. Our last webinar focused on how to get advertisers started on sponsored products with automatic targeting. Today's webinar will look at next steps, taking that automatic targeting campaign and applying the top performing keywords, the ones generating clicks and sales, to an additional campaign that uses manual targeting, where you choose your keywords. This approach lets you stay on top of search trends with your automatic campaign and double down on the most effective keywords in your manual campaign. Our webinar today is scheduled to last about 35 minutes. During this session, I will cover the following topics. Refresh on sponsored products. We'll provide a brief refresh on sponsored products, placements, and its place in your Amazon business. Campaign strategies. We'll touch on various strategies available with sponsored products for your consideration when creating your campaigns. Campaign targeting. Why use manual targeting with automatic targeting for your sponsored product campaigns? Demonstration with campaign creation. With learnings from an automatic campaign, we'll create a campaign using manual targeting. Targeting strategies. How to use our advanced features to refine keyword targeting with the use of automatic and manual targeting and when to each use each targeting method. Webinar FAQs. We'll take a little time to answer some questions we see often asked by advertisers. We'll provide next steps to continue growing your brand on Amazon. If you have to jump off early or rewatch today's session, don't worry. We will email a recording of today's session to you so you can come back and watch it when you have time or share with colleagues. I really want today's webinar to be a working session where we can help you get your ad live and answer any questions you may have. I encourage you to sign into your account and follow along with me. If you have questions, please submit them in the Q&A pod where we have specialists on hand to answer your questions. We will have a brief survey at the end of the webinar and would appreciate it if you'd take a minute to fill it out. This helps us ensure we're giving you the information you need. It's also your chance to tell us what you'd like to see covered in future webinars. Since we'll be covering some more advanced sponsored products topics today, this presentation will offer great next steps for advertisers who have already launched their first sponsored product campaigns, so all audiences are welcome. If you're brand new to sponsored products and looking for a demonstration on how to launch your first ad, you can also find our webinar on getting started with sponsored products below in the links section. Let's start with a quick overview of sponsored products. Sponsored product ads help you drive sales by targeting relevant shoppers. You can help maximize your reach by creating two sponsored product campaigns, one with automatic targeting and one with manual targeting. Our last webinar covered how to create a sponsored product campaign using automatic targeting, where Amazon matches relevant customer search terms to your item. Then, after running your campaign for a week, create an additional sponsored product campaign with manual targeting, where you choose your keywords. We'll go through the campaign creation with manual targeting in a bit. Sponsored product ads can appear in prime locations such as the top, middle, or bottom of search page results. Sponsored products is meant to look native to the overall shopping experience on Amazon. When a shopper lands on a product detail page where they can learn about and add the product to their shopping cart, they will see an additional sponsored product placement in the sponsored products related to this item section further down the page. In addition, sponsored product placements are also available on mobile devices through our mobile website and shopping app. Ads on mobile may appear in search results and product detail pages. As we start thinking about campaign strategy, in addition to understanding the different ad placements that sponsored products offers, it is important to also understand who will actually see your ads. Sponsored products serve targeted ads to customers through the search terms they use to shop. It allows you to reach a highly relevant audience of buyers actively seeking your products. The ads help increase selection for customers making a purchasing decision. This is important to consider as you're defining your Amazon advertising strategy. 
we see advertisers often limiting their reach by exclusively focusing on specific peak periods, the holiday shopping seasons, or specific category events to take advantage of marketing and advertising. Sponsored products advertising offers opportunity beyond the seasonal advertising mindset. For example, if I sell snow shovels and a shopper in Chicago is looking for this product on Amazon in early fall by searching for snow shovels, snow pusher, or utility shovel, this individual is a qualified shopper regardless of the time of year the customer searches. By searching for snow shovels, we can reasonably expect that contextually that customer is in the market to buy a snow shovel even though it is not the traditional time for buying snow shovels. The most effective advertisers recognize the benefit of being where their customers are and engaging buyers at the point when they're looking to purchase. Shoppers are on Amazon all year round. Adopting an always-on approach and running your campaigns continuously with no campaign end date throughout the year, not just during certain times or seasons, helps maximize the impact of sponsored products and helps drive more sales by allowing shoppers to discover your products. The first step to reaching the right shoppers with your sponsored product ads is to target your qualified shoppers. You have the option to select from two targeting types in Campaign Manager automatic targeting or manual targeting campaigns. Automatic targeting campaigns give you increased coverage by targeting a wide range of relevant keywords that allow you to learn how customers are searching for items like yours. Manual targeting campaigns offer more control over which customer search terms to target. To take advantage of the benefits of each of these options, we recommend running an automatic targeting campaign and a manual targeting campaign within Campaign Manager. Running both of the campaign targeting types allows you to continually fine tune your ads over time. Advertisers who effectively use sponsored products have these campaigns running continuously. In our previous webinar, we covered creating a campaign with automatic targeting. We encourage you to watch this webinar if you're interested in learning more about automatic targeting and how to get your campaign set up. For today's webinar, we're going to cover how to pair results from an automatic targeting campaign with a manual targeting campaign to grow your advertising reach and performance. With manual targeting, you handpick your keywords and keyword match types and adjust bids at the keyword level. Once your automatic targeting campaign has run for at least two weeks, identify high-performing keywords based on your goals, such as keywords with high impression volume, click-through rate, or conversion rate from the search term report. Based on your goals, create a manual targeting campaign with your selected keywords. We recommend structuring your campaign in the same way that you structured your previous automatic targeting campaign. When setting up your campaign, consider selecting similar products to advertise since you'll use the same keywords to target them. If you have different types of products from multiple categories, you might consider creating multiple ad groups if you're a seller or campaigns if you're a vendor to target each product group with similar keywords. So find the products you want to advertise and click select to add them to your campaign. Your selected products will appear below. We recommend starting with at least two ASINs per campaign. You will now choose your bids and keywords. First, set your default bid. A bid is the maximum amount you're willing to spend on the keyword. This caps the amount you will be charged if a customer clicks on your ad after searching the chosen keyword. We recommend setting your bid to the maximum amount you're willing to pay for a click. Competitive bids help improve the likelihood that your ad will be displayed when an Amazon shopper searches for one of your keywords. You can always change your bid at a later date. For US advertisers, you can now enable Bid Plus in the Campaign Builder. Bid Plus increases the opportunity for your ads to show in the top of search results. When turned on, Amazon will increase the default bid for your ads by up to 50% when they compete for the top of search results location provided the ads are eligible for the top of search results. Based on your goals, whether it's gaining impressions for your brand or driving sales for a new product, pull the performing keywords from the search term report. Keywords play an important role in the success of your ad campaigns. The more you include, the more customers you're likely to reach and the more clicks you're likely to get. This can help you increase sales. The ad builder will provide some suggested keywords to help you get started. 
You can look through this list and add keywords individually or click add all to the add all of the suggested keywords. Suggested keywords with broad match type offers the widest traffic exposure. Your ad may appear when a customer searches for your keyword in any order, including close variations. You can also add your own list of keywords by clicking on the Enter Keywords tab. Keywords play an important role in the success of your ad campaign. The more you include, the more customers you're likely to reach and the more clicks you're likely to get. This can help you increase sales. Aim for at least 30 keywords in each campaign to boost your performance. When you do this, make sure to add keywords that are relevant to the products you've selected to advertise. Ensure that when adding your own keywords, you're typing them on separate lines. You will notice that when you are adding your own keywords that you have the option to choose the match type on the keyword. Boost the effectiveness of your campaign by using all keyword match types broad, phrase, exact, and negative. Together, they'll help you reach the right customers and drive more sales. Then, set keyword level bids. As a best practice, continue to optimize your manual targeted campaign by monitoring performance and fine-tuning your bids and budget. Broad match. This offers the widest traffic exposure. Your ad may appear when a customer searches for your keyword in any order, including close variations. Phrase match. Your ad may appear when a shopper searches for either your exact phrase or sequence of words in your keyword. While this is more restrictive than broad match, it can drive more relevant traffic to your ads. Exact match. In order for your ad to show, a shopper search term must match your keyword exactly. This is the most restrictive match type, but can help generate the most relevant traffic. Negative phrase and exact match. Applying a negative match type to keywords in your campaigns prevents your ads from showing when a customer searches for those terms. This helps you maximize relevant clicks and minimize those that aren't. Visit Campaign Manager at least one to two times per week to regularly review keyword level performance. If you see a keyword performing well and driving sales for you, you may want to increase your bid in order to get more impressions that you may be missing out on that could lead to clicks and sales. The more campaigns you run, the more opportunity you have to learn what helps you drive the most sales. We recommend running at least five sponsored product campaigns using a combination of automatic and manual targeting for each campaign. By monitoring the performance of your keywords, you'll learn which keywords work for you and be empowered to bid more competitively, thus boosting the chances of your ads showing to shoppers that are ready to buy. While the majority of advertisers should see improved advertising reach and performance by incorporating automatic targeting into their campaign strategy, there are a handful of advertisers that we don't recommend starting with automatic targeting. Specifically, advertisers in highly competitive categories such as health and personal care, beauty and wireless. The sponsored product suggested bids will help you gauge how competitive your item's category is compared to others. These advertisers can, Start with manual targeting. Manual targeting allows for a more refined bidding, which is important in competitive categories where broader keywords may be costlier. Target specific keywords. Targeting keywords like speaker and case can be costly and not convert well. In these highly competitive categories, targeting more specific keywords like red Bluetooth speaker will likely convert better and lead stronger ACoS. Bid low with automatic targeting. If you do proceed with automatic targeting campaigns, bidding below the average can help you discover new, less competitive, specific keywords to target to add to your manual campaigns. Create a headline search campaign. Our advertising solutions let you reach and engage shoppers at every stage of their journey, from awareness to purchase and beyond. That's why the strongest advertising strategies include a mix of all ad types. Take advantage of each to maximize your performance, boosting sales and brand awareness. For sellers, it's important to note that headline search ads are available only to registered brand owners. With this, I'm going to move over to our frequently asked questions. If you are watching this live and still have questions, you can submit them in our Q&A pod. How do I ensure my ad appears at the top of search results? 
There is no way to guarantee the top of search placement. This placement is reserved for extremely relevant ads. You have to make sure the keywords you're bidding on are relevant to the product. You can also turn on Bid Plus. Bid Plus will optimize your bids for top of search results when they're most likely to lead to sales and conversions. How can I run ads on the mobile platform? All of our advertising solutions allow ads to automatically show up both in desktop and mobile placements. Mobile placements appear on the Amazon app and mobile browser. If a keyword is not getting any impressions, what is the reason behind it and what can be done? Lack of impressions can be due to a combination of things. Your product may not be relevant to the keywords you are bidding on. Please note the best way to get the most relevant keywords is by utilizing the keyword level report from the automatic targeting campaign. If the keyword is relevant, you may be getting outbid and should try increasing your bids. If I'm bidding for two products with the same keywords in different campaigns, am I competing with myself? No, two ads from the same advertiser do not influence the cost per click of either ads for your sponsored products campaigns. In fact, we recommend targeting your sponsored products and headline search campaigns on the same keywords as they engage shoppers in different ways and combine to create a prominent top of page brand presence. You will only pay when shoppers click into your ad. Which products should I advertise? Two things you need to consider. High conversion rates. Advertising allows customers to better discover your products, but once the ad is clicked on, sponsored products convert at approximately the same rate as natural search. This means products that convert well in search results are more likely to perform in ads as well. Include ASINs in your campaign with at least a three-star rating and descriptive detail page content. Winning the buy box. While this may seem basic, ensure the products you advertise win the buy box. If you select ASINs that win the buy box at least 25%, you can increase the ad's chance of serving. Why are ASIN numbers showing up as search terms in my downloadable reports? When you download your report, you may notice some ASIN numbers listed under your search term column. In addition to displaying on search result pages, sponsored products may also appear on ASIN detail pages of similar or complementary products. We will show that ASIN number in your reporting when your ad appears in a detail page placement and receives a click. If you notice strong performance on detail pages, you can consider creating a product display ad to explicitly target that ASIN detail page directly beneath the ad to cart button. How do you know if my keyword is not relevant? A low click-through rate, or CTR, can be a signal of low keyword relevance. With manual targeting, keywords with underperforming CTR will automatically be paused and no longer serve ads to shoppers searching that specific term on Amazon. If you have paused underperforming keywords, a yellow triangle notification will appear next to the Keywords tab in the Campaign Dashboard, indicating the number of paused keywords in that campaign. You will also see the same yellow notification identifying the specific paused keyword next to the underperforming CTR metric. If you'd like to continue targeting these underperforming keywords, I would recommend creating a new campaign with those keywords, and like I recommended previously, try out different advertised ASINs or test a different image or headline for your headline search ads that might be more relevant to that search term. How much time is required before customers are able to see my ad? Your ad will automatically be approved and start serving to customers within an hour. Sponsored products is a great way to quickly create ads for multiple products and serve as an always-on advertising solution for your brand. Before we wrap up this presentation, let's review our recommended campaign strategies once more. Use an always-on approach. Every sale throughout the year adds up, so do not miss opportunities to reach a customer because your items can't be found by qualified shoppers searching on Amazon. Adopt an always-on advertising approach and run your campaigns continuously without an end date to maximize the impact of sponsored products. Start with automatic targeting. Create new ads in minutes and let us do the keyword research for you by leveraging Amazon's extensive e-commerce knowledge and automatically finding the best performing keywords. Once your auto-targeting campaign has run for two weeks, add high-performing keywords to a manual targeting campaign.
Automatic targeting is a powerful feature that can save you time and lead to an improved campaign performance. But this targeting type is best leveraged when these campaigns are regularly managed and optimized. Automatic targeting gives you coverage while manual targeting offers control. Pair auto-targeting with manual targeting to refine your bids and double down on high-performing keywords. Monitor and fine-tune your campaigns regularly. Click into Campaign Manager at least one to two times per week to regularly review campaign performance, adjust your bids on the top performing keywords in your manual campaigns to meet your business goals, and increase your budget if you're running out of daily budget. Keep automatic targeting campaigns running. As automatic targeting captures new high-performing keywords, you can add them to your manual targeting where you can set a custom bid on the individual keyword level. Also consider lowering your auto-targeted bid at this stage to help control your advertising cost of sale. You may want to invest more in the manual targeting campaign, which is offering more precise targeting and a more robust bidding strategy. With that, I wanna thank everyone for attending today's webinar and for all of your great questions. We will be sending a follow-up email with a link to the recording from today's webinar. You should see a short survey on your screen momentarily. We would appreciate it if you could please take a moment to complete the survey, giving us feedback on today's presentation and what topics you would like to see covered in future sessions. On behalf of everyone on the Amazon team, thanks for attending and have a great day.